It's an incredible pleasure for me to welcome uh, Kiri, my friend Kiriakos to, uh, uh, to Canada. Uh, it's been 41 years uh, since a Greek Prime Minister has come to Canada, uh, and it took the friendship between my father and Prime Minister Papadreou to have it happen the first time, uh, so this time I'm glad that our friendship has, uh, has gotten you here, uh, here today. But that friendship is so deep between Canada and Greece, uh, one of uh, the uh, proudest and most successful diasporas around the world is here in Canada. Um, the ties are deep and growing. Uh, the challenges in the world require friends with shared values and perspectives uh, to pull together and cooperate, whether it's uh, in the Middle East, whether it's uh, looking at some of the real challenges in uh, Eastern Europe, around Ukraine and elsewhere, uh, whether it's uh, how we're continuing to build on investments, even as we're uh, fighting against climate change and standing against wildfires with uh, great cooperation. There's lots to do, lots more more to do, uh, but mostly just uh, really happy to welcome uh, Prime Minister Mitsotakis here, uh, and uh, just great to see you, Kikaros. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Premier ministre. C'est un bon plaisir de me retrouver au Canada. C'est 41, vous avez bien raison. And uh, for me, it's um, uh, it's a real honor to, um, uh, to to visit Canada and to spend this very very uh, important day together with my good friend, the Prime Minister Trudeau, but also engaging with what is one of our most dynamic diasporas, the Greek Canadian community. Today and tomorrow are very important days as we celebrate our uh, Independence uh, Day. But of course, uh, it is also an opportunity to take stock of our uh, bilateral uh, relations to emphasize uh, the common values uh, that bind together uh, our two uh, countries uh, in times of uh, significant um, and global geopolitical challenges. Greece and Canada stand side by side defending the rules-based international uh, order. Um, and of course, it will be an opportunity to also talk about our economic ties. Uh, it is uh, a chance for me to also make the case um, to the Canadian business community that Greece has changed mm -hmm. and that we've left the difficult years of the crisis. Uh, behind us, but also it will be an opportunity to sign uh, important agreements uh, that cement our cooperation when it comes to tackling uh, the climate change. Uh, Greece is going to be uh, the first country, and there are many others uh, in, in the queue to purchase uh, uh, the new Canadair um, um, uh, water bombers, uh, and we'll be able to confirm and sign that agreement uh, um, in a bit. So lots to talk about uh, in a visit that has both uh, a, a political but also an emotional uh, dimension uh, for me. Uh, uh, and indeed, uh, uh, I should say this probably, Prime Minister, I found a photo of, of you uh, um, back then from 1983 when with your father, uh, you visited the Acropolis, you were very, very young. Uh, at the time, but 41 years, it's a long time, uh, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm happy to, to be able to, to spend this important day with, uh, with you here and with the Greek uh, Canadian but, but I have to say, he's being modest. The, the, turn or the change in the Greek economic situation, uh, it's really been more than just a change. It's been extraordinary. What you have been able to lead in terms of economic uh, you know, strength uh, of Greece right now is, uh, is exceptional, and we're, we're happy to play a, a, a continued role in, uh, in the incredible growth that you're seeing. Thank you.